What's going on guys? I am feeling pretty good right now because I finally woke up early for once, like before 1 p.m. So I actually got up at 6.30 today, went to class, and it was really cold. It's still cold out right now, but it was like negative five when I woke up. Um, I got out of class early and I'm back at the house. I've been working some on the minivan and right now I'm fixing to do an oil change on it so uh, I can get ready to bring it over to PFI so we can uh, retune it real quick. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do an oil change. I'm gonna borrow the catch can off of my hatch and put it on here. And I also need to get a uh, battery tie down because we have the factory battery tray. I just need to get the little uh, piece that goes over it just to clamp the battery down because right now I just have a ratchet strap on there. So that shouldn't be an issue as well. But uh, yeah, I'm on a really tight schedule right now. We have a lot to do today. So I'm gonna get the oil changed on this thing, get the new oil filter on there and start taking the catch can off of the hatch. I know I'm taking a lot of parts off the hatch, but don't worry guys, the hatch will be getting some attention here very soon. Um, I know you guys wanna see some more of that thing. She's just been chilling right there for a while, but I'm gonna try to get the minivan up and going for uh, this trip. So, gonna get on that, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I am done with that, and then I'll start heading over to PFI. So I got the oil change done on the minivan. I also got the catch cam put on. I ended up swapping the valve cover off of my hatch and just putting it on here. So I have the whole catch cam set up off my hatch on the van right now. It has fresh oil, new oil filter, and we're getting some corn right now. And uh, then we'll be on our way to PFI, throw her on the dyno, hopefully all goes well. And then I can carry on with getting some other things done today and uh, just get prepared to head out tomorrow. So hopefully this dyno session goes good. Hope you guys are excited. And I'm really hoping the minivan can hit 700 horsepower, so we'll see what happens. All right guys, so we have the minivan on the dyno. So I didn't film too much, but over the last couple hours we got quite a bit done on it. Um, I had to take the fuel rail off, like I said in the last video, so we could drill out that one little port and get the fuel pressure gauge uh, all installed. So that is ready to go, it's right down in there. And uh, Brent was helping me out quite a bit as well because we also did change the injectors. So nothing was really wrong with the old injectors. These uh, injectors that we just put in are the same size but uh, the old ones, it had a pretty rough time idling when it was cold and Brent thinks that has something to do with the injectors. So we just went ahead and swapped those out since the fuel rail was off anyway. Uh, here's the catch can I took off of my hatch that is on there now. And right now we're just letting it warm up. We're about to uh, do some pulls, see if that fuel pump uh, relay helped with uh, the fuel. Also we got a fuel pressure regulator on there, an adjustable one that's an AEM, so we can adjust the fuel pressure. So yeah, she's ready to go right now. We're just letting her warm up. We could, got Brent inside. We could probably start by giving her some more pressure. We're on 47, so probably, Think you can crank it up a little bit. 55 would be sweet to start with. All right, I'll turn it up some. Let me just hit this guy right here. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's E-Man say? E-Man? Yeah. I have the power! <laughs> <laughs> Six eighty one. It didn't even feel like that. It didn't, I was like, man, we're like, dude. Like it, it sounded <laughs> like it from the outside. The, the, the tire was starting to wrinkle. Real, real quiet in here. It's it pretty quiet. <laughs> we're like just on a drive. <laughs> I know, and the, the downpipe's open right now too. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I did not expect to Now it's shut. Oh, now it's really. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was the duty at? Did it change anything? Does it seem oh, better? Yeah, it was great. Is it way better now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So the relay is working. Seven 
727. What? It did 727. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> dude. Yeah, no. Dude. That's, fun, that's no, good. Dude. That's all right for me, man. I think that's plenty. Dude. You can put the parachute on there now. Yeah, now we need that parachute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we definitely need it now. Dude. Holy crap. That's a lot. That's a lot for a minivan. Damn. <laughs> Gotta make some mounts for the bumper. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> we need an actual piece of wood. Here, just use my, just use my shoe, bro. Just use it. All right. <laughs> I had my toes all crunched up. Yeah, I think it's pretty good right there. Yeah. It already made more power than my hatch. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> my minivan makes more power than my race car now. Yeah. I was talking to Clayton in Canada, and he's like, holy cow, it makes more than his hatch. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of power. Lord. <laughs> and it's repeating. Dude, so. and look how, dude, it stands up pretty hard. It stands up as soon as I, as soon as I push the Like gas. the graph goes up. I just got to stomp it, and it goes. It <laughs> yeah. Go. Dude, the power band is awesome, too. Oh yeah, like it's straight goes. I'm stomping at 4200 and it's straight up. Because before it ran into the 12s and now it, it sits in the lot. So. so we're coming down there with two beasts. Two beasts. Front wheel drive monsters. And the thing yeah, about now the hatch has is, to make more. Do we have enough helmets <laughs> for everybody to ride down that's, the half mile? <laughs> <laughs> like we need more helmets. We, get away. <laughs> we have a helmet problem. I have two matching ones at the house. All what? Right, so helmets? Yeah, I think we need one, two, two three, ones. four, five. We need s at least six helmets. Cletus might fit in the very corner. <laughs> Adam will sit next to him. We'll have assigned seats. Just everybody in the van <laughs> for the half mile. <laughs> Everybody's got GoPros on them. <laughs> it's like the ultimate. Like, what do they do? Like when you get a bunch of people in the cars and they like videotape them. Just before. reactions. Yeah. So it's the ultimate, the ultimate reaction. reaction. Six ultimate people, YouTuber right? reaction video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ultimate, yeah, that'll be great. That'll be fun. It'll be something crazy. Oh, yeah, well, she's good there. That's plenty. Yeah. We don't need to turn it up anymore. Oh, no. That's plenty. Finish mounting that shoe. Do you think it would make more, though, if you wanted to? Yes. <laughs> right now, I think I could go a little more because I have fuel, so. Oh. Never calling it there. Uh, this thing's already a death trap. <laughs> and that was fourth gear, right? That's fourth, yeah. So fourth gear goes out. Did you hit limiter? Yes. So fourth this gear one, goes just under 150. I logged 140. And that's what? What's the rev limiter at? Nine. Nine thousand. But we're gonna up it to 95. 95. Yeah. Dude, if we can hit limiter in fourth gear in the half mile, we are gonna be moving. Dude, that's crazy. That's so much power. The axle nut should be tight this time. There it is. It's on. No. Does it hit? Looks like it. Yeah. In the front? Yeah. Just on this guy? Who? Yeah. See, it's not doing anything. So you're just going to trim it right there and exactly. There. Oh shit! <laughs> well, we're ready. We just need to put the tires Dude. on now. Where are you living at, Hell? The minivan's about to be mobbing out. Yeah. All the traction. Dude. Yo. Bro, that's so awesome. I'm trying to make you safe here. We'll give you a little parachute. We're gonna put that taking on. this chute off the We're off Jamie's off. SRT. Putting it on the mini. So easy to put it on, dude. You just got weld a tube in there. Dude, that would be really easy yeah. because we have the back support right here, and you just weld a tube, and then yeah, we just done. gotta drill a hole. Then how? Then, like this, it's just. And then, then you just run a just cable run a, to this. Yeah, a cable. See, like here, Shane, hold this real quick. It's like, see, this is it. 
So it's just a choke cable, basically. So then I just gotta mount it you, somewhere. Here, you wanna go, Emilio, go push the lever. See, this is how it is. So it'll go through where this, where this is, and it holds it. So then when you hit that lever, watch, hit the lever. See, it pulls it, and yeah. lets the shoe down. So that's all it is, it's just a choke cable, basically. Damn, I feel like that's kinda, I've seen videos of shoots that accidentally open. I feel like that could easily well, happen. So that's how come when you're just cruising around, you have a pin like this in it. Cause this oh, is just they, a piece of wire that goes through it. And then they pull the pin right before you do your you pass. You pull the pin before the pass. Yep. But I still feel like so that's how it, it would hold these though. say like remove before flight and stuff like yeah. that. So. Oh shit. What do you think guys? Should we put a parachute on the minivan before we head out? Let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll do it. Yo, doesn't that look badass or what? Bro. That needs to happen, huh? Yeah. So we, we just have it resting in there. It's not actually mounted, but. Oh, oh, oh. I feel a little safer with it on there. Dude, that'd be sick. Jamie, can we borrow your parachute? Yeah, go ahead. Can I actually borrow it if I put it on? Yeah. My car's not going anywhere this weekend, bro. Bro, that's gonna be sick as fuck. Dude, I yeah, think we should actually do it. Car. It ain't going nowhere this I think we should do it. Yeah, do it. What are you gonna do? Just put a hole right I here? I mean, you know, that'd be like the only safe thing. Dude, yeah, we can literally just take the bumper off, right? <laughs> hole saw right through here, and then just weld it to the support. That's it, and then we just gotta run a cable. Dude, that needs to happen. It's like the only aftermarket piece you can see on the car. Like if Everything else is sleeper, but just a shoot. Well, yeah, and if we, if we do it right, all you'll see is just a little tube coming off, and no one will expect anything. They'll just think it's for a bike rack or something. I'll just put it on when we get there. I'll just get a bike rack and just, dude, I should just hang a bike like on it, like behind the chute. Then maybe no one will even know it's a parachute. That would be so sick. Would it like slide in a little bit into the bumper? Oh, so yeah. it wouldn't no, stick like, this so far this out? this was the edge of my bumper. Okay. That's dude. the edge of my bumper. That'd be so sweet. Let me know, guys. I'm kind of down. It wouldn't even be that hard to put on real quick. All we have to do is hole saw right through here and then it already has a bumper support in the back and we can literally just weld that bar to it and that's all it would need. I think that would be so sick. And then honestly, it would actually be like a safety thing to have. Mm. I won't have to put as much stress on my brakes and stuff. Yeah. And then if the car ever gets squirrely and you yeah. throw that chute, it straightens it right and out. you wanna stay in it when you throw it so it doesn't jerk the back up. So you gotta stay in the throttle. Front wheel drive cars, if you let off the gas and it noses over and you throw it, it can pick the back up. Yeah, so I've seen that picture of the, the Evo and it like yeah, lifted gotta, the whole thing in there. You gotta drive into the chute at first. So once you feel the chute, then you can let out the gas. Dude, that'd be sick. All right, so we pulled the minivan off the dyno. Uh, they went ahead and pulled all the cars in, but thank you Brent for the awesome tune as yeah. always. We broke 700 horsepower, guys. And uh, yeah, we're still kind of in a rush. So we gotta get going and I uh, guess I'll see you soon yep. in Florida. Yep. So uh, Brent's actually gonna be coming out there. He's gonna meet us, he's gonna fly out. And then uh, we had a little change of plans. We're gonna be using a different car to tow the minivan out there. And then Emilio is gonna be coming with us as well. So I can let you guys know that for right now. But yeah, we're gonna head out, get this video put together for you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you guys are excited to see the minivan go to Florida, because I'm sure excited to yeah. go, so it's gonna be fun. So it's gonna be it for tonight, guys. Thanks for watching.